Hi, I'm Matt Tebber. I'm here to show you a traditional fish soup. Now, this is a dish that really kind of kick-started my love of cooking. So, the first thing you need to do is chop up your veg. Now, for this, I'm going to use onion, carrot, celery, and fennel. Fennel gives that a really nice kind of base anise taste. When you're cooking and you enjoy cooking, you really want good quality gear. So good quality knife, good quality pots and pans, things that are going to last and things that just feel better in your hand. So decent amount of olive oil and then in with your veg. You could salt it a little bit. To this I'm going to add some thyme, a couple of bay leaves. I'm also going to put in just one star anise. Now this is really quite special, brings out all those other flavours. So now we're going to fillet the fish. Now what you need is a good filleting knife and a good steel. Every time you pick up a knife, you want to run it over a steel and that just keeps things nice and sharp. Going to run the knife along the spine and then slowly ease it away from the bone. With a good quality, sharp, flexible knife, this is a really easy thing to do. Now the idea of buying whole fish is that we're going to use obviously the fillets later on, but you want the bones and the bones are going to give that stock the most delicious taste. Now these are red mullet. Any bits of trim will end up in the stock. Now with the prawns, make sure you buy them in shell and buy them raw. Take the heads off, all the flavour is in the head. So give the fish a bit of a stir. When you can start to see them catch and you see the, the bits of fish starting to cook in with some vermouth. So after the alcohol is reduced and you're left with all those delicious vermouth flavours, in with some tomato puree. And it's really important that that also gets cooked out. In with a tin of plum tomatoes. When all the ingredients are in and everything's been brought down, saffron is in, just cover with water. Bring up to the boil and then simmer for around about 30 minutes. So. After 30 minutes, it's ready to drain. Bones are going to go into here, the juice is going to flow through. Press down and push all the flavour. And then we're good to reduce. So tip your base back into the cast iron. And add the tarragon. Bring it up to the boil and then reduce it until you've got the right taste. You want to get your spoon and taste it all the time. So a really good way to inject massive amount of flavour into your fish soup is to add shellfish. These mussels are going to lose their liquor and then I'm going to reduce that and add it to the finished dish. High heat. In with the mussels. I've got bay and thyme there. A couple of smashed garlic cloves. In with a vermouth. And then put the lid on and don't touch it. You want to let those steam, give them a shake every now and again. These will take no longer than about sort of three to four minutes. Right, mussels are done. Pick through some of the meat and keep that. That's going to end up in the finished soup. Right, now we need to strain the mussel liquor into the finished soup. Now we're going to carry on reducing that. We're going to taste it and make sure it's exactly how we want. Great. On with the fish. So here we got our fillets. Now we just need to trim them and make them look a little bit neater. Got the prawns here as well. Just going to cut those through the middle. So fish is all ready. I'm just going to remove the pot and then we're going to start frying the fish. A little bit of salt on top of the skin side of the fillets. Now a nice little tip is to put the fish in and just slide it ever so gently across the pan and then you've built up a layer between the fish skin and the base of the pan. Now we'll start cooking these thicker fillets. You season in scallops. Now alongside those, I've got the prawns. And at this stage, it's all gonna take another sort of minute or two tops. So this is the Rui. This is the spicy mayonnaise that goes so well with this fish soup. Right, so garlic into pestle and mortar. Now for the rest of it. So take the top and the seeds out of the chili. So that can go in there. The red pepper, that goes in. You need a decent amount of salt. That's going to help grip everything. And in with the saffron. Right, so we've got a good puree there. So move that aside and let's make some mayonnaise. So I'm going to use three eggs for this. So to that, I'm going to add some Dijon mustard, a pinch of salt, and then start slowly whisking in 
the oil. In here I've got half olive oil and half veg oil. So this is getting thicker and thicker now. So at that point, you can add just a touch of white wine vinegar. Now lastly, we want to add some lemon juice. Right, so we have our base. Now we need to add our spiced paste to it. Give that a stir. And that's exactly what you want. Really good, punchy mayonnaise. For the croutons, a couple of cloves of garlic. Throw them in whole, in skin, with some olive oil. Bit of thyme and then your bread. And you're best off using a slightly stale loaf because it just gives you better croutons. They hold together nicely. And while they're browning, let's grate some cheese. I'm gonna turn that heat off, let them finish cooking. So just sprinkle with a little bit of salt and they're ready to serve. And lastly, serve with the rui, the croutons, and the gruyere. Delicious.